Forecast first on Color 10 News, Ozarks First. Good morning. We're starting out this Monday pretty cold. We've got a freeze warning in effect in northern Arkansas where that growing season is a little bit farther ahead than the Missouri one. It goes until 9 for those temperatures uh, near and below freezing. And what you want to remember when a freeze warning is in effect is the peas, the people, the pets, uh, plants, and pipes. Of course, the kiddos will want some gloves at the bus stop this morning. Pets want to be inside. The plants could have some of that frost or freeze damage. And the pipes, uh, you want to take care of those too. It's 31 in Springfield. 32 in Branson and in Harrison, 28 in Bentonville this morning. So again, temperatures are all at or a little bit below freezing. We've got high pressure in play, which is what's responsible for this clear and cold start. It's clearing out the skies and, and those temperatures are, are tumbling as a result. Uh, so we'll keep temperatures on the chillier side today. We'll also increase clouds. Uh, we've got this low pressure, uh, pretty weak disturbance up in the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. We'll stay dry today, but it will throw a couple more clouds in to the Ozarks and that will keep our temperatures below average. So we're looking at a high of about 52 degrees. Average is 62, uh, so we're going to stay uh, about 10 degrees below average. We'll start out with sunshine and cold temperatures. We increase the clouds. We'll have some more filtered sunshine. Temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s by the end of the day. We'll have a couple of more of those clouds, especially to the south, so temperatures stay in the upper 40s there, 52 for the high in Springfield. We clear out the skies again overnight. Temperatures flirt with freezing, especially for the eastern Ozarks. We'll be warmer down to the south and to the west, 34 in Springfield. More sunshine tomorrow, mostly sunny, steady westerly winds and warmer with temperatures in the low to middle 60s, 64 degrees in Springfield. So if you're concerned about any plants you've got outside, some frost may be possible tonight, but then we'll see these temperatures start to warm back up into the 40s and 50s on the overnight. So no concern after tonight. Uh, this is a not terribly late or early. Uh, we could still get that last freezing temperature uh, down into the second week of April. So we still have some time here to get some more of this cold air to come in. The last uh, average last time we see a temperature of 24 degrees is March 21st. Uh, we'll have warm air fill in as we head through the rest of the week, and that's going to be ahead of our next big storm system that will bring us some rain probably starting Wednesday night and lingers into Thursday. For now, that severe threat looks to be a focus to our south in Oklahoma and Arkansas. If that fuel can nudge a little bit farther north, then we might have to worry about a couple of strong and severe storms in our area, the extreme south and west parts of our area. Uh, but for now, it looks like we'll see little to no severe threat because it just will probably be too far south. Uh, rain amounts should be under an inch. 52 degrees today. We'll have some filtered sunshine. Those temperatures will still be on the chilly side. Again, average is 62 for this time of year. Overnight, we'll dip to near freezing again, 34 degrees and mostly clear. 64 tomorrow, mostly sunny, warmer. We'll have west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that's what helps push these temperatures finally at and a little bit above average. 68 on Wednesday with increasing clouds, showers, and storms on the overnight. We're looking at some scattered showers and storms on Thursday, clearing skies on Friday. Look at that, 73 on Saturday.